Okay, so I've got a couple of guys from Titans of Phoenix here that I'm going to interview. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Sure, this is Cardi Scorpio, former member of TOP and actual CEO of Titans of Phoenix. Pancho Polis, former CEO of the Phoenix Federation, now director of the Titans of Phoenix. I'm Solar Coil, director of Titans of Phoenix. Okay, so let's just get straight into the formation of your court. How did it go down? When did it go down? Things like that. Well, as a former member of Asian Exiles back then, uh, at that point Asian Exiles wasn't recruiting anymore. So I talked to Kujo and, you know, came up with the idea of having a sister corp or a bre breeding corp. And at the beginning he said it's, you know, it's a good idea, but they're not sure about it. But I can start projects. So pretty much I started it. I left Asian Exiles uh, and started corp. That's pretty much how TOP was born. Like, pretty much also right now it's one year and two months already that the corp has been created. So it was last January then? Or did, yeah. did you say two months or two days? My bad, sorry. Two months. Oh, okay, One so that put it back months. in like November. Okay, so uh, who were the founding members at that time? Who uh, went over to form Titans Phoenix from AE with you? Well, uh, it was my brother, Deagle Aquarius, uh, myself, uh, Cardia, uh, Elaine Le Victorious also from Asian Exiles, and uh, Crop. Crop 420. Those were the pretty much the four A members that founded uh, TOP at that point. Alright. So, since uh, the, I mean, the Corp kind of had an off period for a while. You guys sort of recently came back. You want to talk about how, like, you, you guys you guys coming back from uh, being wherever you guys were, whatever happened there? Yeah, what happened is like we were working pretty good. We were one of the top corps back then as well. Uh, one curious thing is like we were born at the same time as FA did. Uh, we fought against each other for a couple of weeks, then we become allies. Uh, unfortunately, at the peak of a corp, uh, I couldn't log in because ACP just won't let me log in. I wasn't banned. I just couldn't log in. So uh, me being away for one month, being the CEO of the corp, just disappeared whenever I got back it broke apart so I stopped playing for eight nine months I came back and um, I decided to rejoin my old TOP and rebuild it I sent a shoot a couple of mails here and there uh, you know to the former members and trying to get him back and see if we can build the corp as a mercenary corp we're not aiming for land we're definitely going for just ringing uh, most of the corps have that um, goal right now at this point of the game. So we started like that a uh, couple, of, two months actually ago. We started the corp again with that meta being a mercenary corp. Okay. So you guys are, I mean, I'd say you guys were one of the bigger corps at this point, one of the biggest in PC. You know, you guys, Random Guns, KEQ, Murphy's Law. I don't know if I want to say FA at this moment. Uh, and, you know, capital acquisitions, I might have left out one or two, but, uh, just those ones. So you guys were one of the bigger corps now, so that, that must be cool for you guys. Um, it was a long, a long while when I was just in nothing. Uh, but anyways, what, what were kind of, with, with the original formation of the corp, what were kind of your, uh, like your original goals? What were you trying to do with the corp? I think you might have touched on this, but you want to go into a detail a little bit more? Yeah, well, like I said, I promised my guys when I came back, um, Back in the days, I used to pay, like, almost match AE payrolls back then with the district used to produce pacifist. Uh But at this time, since, you know, they changed, CCP changed that, uh, I told them, like, we, we're going to be earning this, but, you know, ringing, being a mercenary corp. That was the goal, becoming a mercenary corp. I didn't expect um, Vengeance Unbound and Heaven's Lost Property to merge into us. Uh, that was something, like, that came out of nowhere. So that changed the plan of the corp like a lot. And uh, like I said at the beginning, we just wanted to be a mercenary corp, have like 20 members, ring here and there. Something like, you know, AEs right now, they just have like six, seven, eight active members and they just ring. That was our goal at the beginning. We didn't, we weren't aiming for, uh, you know, the state of the corp uh, that's right now, the state of the corp that has right now. 
we didn't imagine to be that big and uh, helping PC. Uh, we're helping it so far right now. So, so uh, you, you'd say you, you've, you've kind of achieved your goals that you had at the beginning. You wanted to be a Merc Corp, and I suppose you are a Merc Corp, even I mean, you hold your own districts, but uh, would you say you achieved those goals? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We helped a lot. We When we came in, um, we definitely were ringing like a lot. We were having like three, four PCs a day. Uh, we were ringing uh, principally for uh, Bloodline Rebellion, for 1UP. Uh, Red Star came back at the same time as TOP came back, so we started ringing for them a lot. We were really close to them. And uh, we were ringing a lot, like I said, like at least four or five times a day uh, when we just came back. So yeah, I'll say we had cheaper goals. Okay. Uh, do you guys want to... Really with all of us merging in, we were just able to achieve those goals and I think a little bit more. Um, with a lot of our players coming in, like Solar and, and Soda, they had Heaven's Lost Property going and Solar and I had a, been working together in PCs for quite a long time previously. So it was, with, with things happening in Vengeance and I, my TV was gone for a little bit, that shit broke out on me, so I was out of the ability to act like a leader in the corp and at that point we needed to just find a, a solid structure for everyone to keep happy in PCs and, and each one of us kind of brought a, a piece of the puzzle together to, to keep most of the players pretty happy and be successful in PC but um, being coming from also a lot of uh, the smaller corps that we have in our background um, definitely wanted to use our ability in PC to so what I felt like do a little bit of justice and do a little bit of good for the map, taking away some of the the farming corps that we don't necessarily agree with. Um, I think I'm not sure, but I think our corp is probably out of all the ones you listed, and probably more than that. Um, I think the only PC corp right now in the game that doesn't have farming districts and isn't using it to farm out is. That's what I don't think it should be about, and that's why we've been giving a lot of small corporations districts. Um, I'm sure some of uh, some of the people here saw, saw us posting up before. We put about 15 corporations on the map in, uh, in under two weeks. So I felt really good about that. And, and taking away those farming districts and using them to put people in the game and keep it alive is what I think it's all about. So I'm happy yeah. we were able to accomplish a bit of that, too. Definitely a good thing. It's always nice to see uh, you know new faces in PC. You kind of answered a couple of my questions. I was gonna I was gonna ask about the mergers a bit. I was gonna ask about you guys giving away the districts a bit. You kind of touched on it there, and I think that'll be sufficient. Um, Heaven's Lost Property. I don't know too much of that about that. Was that being reformed before? What What was the deal with that? I hadn't heard Solar, about that. I think Solar can talk about that. He came from from there. Yeah, I see how property when it started. And, um, your mic's uh, plugging out. Oh, your mic's chopping out. I tuned in there when it started. Well, well I'll that, take care of that. Sound better? Pretty much. Yeah. No, you're still kind of lagging. This um, sounds better. There you go. Go ahead and continue while we start it. Okay. okay, um. Well, no, what else property I got here? wasn't um it wasn't a process of rebuilding. They were trying Soda Pop as the CEO was trying to rebuild it. Um but uh unfortunately I will say unfortunately because I didn't know Heaven's Lost Property like the rest of the community. Um suppose it was a strong core back then when uh ER eight broke up. Um so uh they were trying to reform unfortunately, uh, unfortunately it wasn't successful. And they decided to merge. I started talking to Soda Pop. Soda Pop uh, started talking to Poncho, and that's how you know we all three came together, and that's how the merger uh, came uh, to a, a right fit where we're right now. Okay. So uh, how about how about the Vengeance one? You kind of talked that, about that a little bit. Like uh, you, it was out of necessity, if I heard right. Something about you not being able to access the game, Poncho. You want to? On that a bit more for me. Well, we had a, a fairly large tier of leadership um, in that in that corp, and a lot of the players were getting you know a little bit burnt out after spending a few months in PC, like a lot of a lot of leaders do. Um, I was just unfortunately unable to be there with my technical failures, um, and and at that point it was looking like we wanted to just take a little bit of a break, similar to what FA is doing, and then come back in and. Uh, 
I always feel like that's just harmful to a roster. So I knew a lot of players were already considering looking for other places. So I thought personally it would be best to keep us all all together in a group and and you know just keep everyone happy. Um, there were, there were a few players that stayed behind, and there's been a few players that have gone back since as well, um, trying to do their own thing over there, keep it alive over there. But for the most part, yeah, it was, it was fairly out of necessity. Like I said, we had a lot of talented players, and uh, Cardia wanted to be there and step up and be the person online every day to take care of that kind of stuff. And even in Vengeance, that was that corp did use... Uh, you know, locking corpse and farming corpse too, and having to be on all the time and go into all that. Yeah, I mean that that burns out players. I think even more than the actual PCs did. So just the change up of how things are being done, it was just best all around. All right. Uh, I see that I think it's Poison Diego has gone back to Vengeance Unbound to do whatever he's planning on doing. What what can you what can you say about that? Yeah, there's a couple of players that, like I was saying, went back. Um, I think that has a lot to do with, like I said, they were taking a little bit of a break. Some of that leadership um, just wasn't able to be there for for a little while, um, work reasons and the holidays and all that stuff. So that being over, um, a lot of them are feeling a little bit rejuvenated and you know trying to get that court back up, possibly get them some districts. So uh, I mean, I, I'm here's hoping that they do. Yeah, I mean, start to pick back up and are ready to give them their districts as soon as they're ready for them as well. So they left on good terms, you would say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, there were, like all things, I mean, there might have been one or two players that had confrontations with the court, but, the, you know, 99% of the players over there absolutely on good terms and still friends with the court. So yeah. we're happy to have them in PC. Um, in the beginning of our building this corp, um, I think one of the main reasons people expected us to be over really quick is because we had so many numbers in the corp, and when you've got so much talent in, in, in a PC and you can only do so many PCs for those players, um, it's just bound that some of them are going to want to, you know what I mean, start working their own PCs together and be able to put themselves in whenever they want to. So. Mm -hmm. I definitely heard a lot of people referring to your corp as a flavor of the month corp, which, you know. Yeah, I like to think that that was substantially proven wrong. We're going on, what, our third month now since our reforming. Um, and, and we're still going strong in PCs. And morale's as high as it's ever been, so. Um, especially with initially coming into PCs too, I think that's when we got the most of our losses when you've got a lot of players that haven't played together coming together. But uh, I think our roster's been been really starting to get that teamwork going very well and the guys are really happy to see it forming out so well. Okay, uh, Solar, I think you're back, so you wanna say whatever you were gonna say about Heaven's Lost Property? I'm test, is it better? It sounds good, yeah. Alright. Well, Heaven's Lost Property, I joined in like maybe a couple of days after it was officially made. Black Eyes was um, who recruited me, she was the one that asked me to join in. Uh, she was like super dependent on Soda Pop and she thought this corp was going to be huge from the start and I was kind of skeptical of it being coming as big as she was saying. Surprisingly enough, it became huge, and we had like just like they had like 50 members on in the beginning. Um, okay. Yeah, after all, um, I, eventually I became a director over that corp, and I helped out there. Stayed in that corp, was loyal to that corp for a long time. If you check my history, I jumped in many of their corps. She made. Yeah, corp like no game real life. Uh, I need um, what was the other corp name? I don't remember. There's like four corps. Um, MVS was one of them. She loved the name. Okay, so, so I mean, it might not be obvious to everyone, but I, I'm gonna say obviously anyway. So obviously, uh, it's not a really a corp anymore. What happened? To, what what caused that? Why did that go down? 
uh, after Soda Pop gave CEO to Ice, and I became pretty much a right hand man. Um, she wanted things to go her own way and wanted um to merge with Rampage. Eventually, she wanted that to merge, and they were gonna call the Corp envious. A lot of the Corp disagree with some of her ideas and one of them was a merge and that kind of got some people to fall leave um, especially how many hots we did um, it's especially um, after um, FanFest um, a lot of our players left like Anon, Anon um, Grim Wolf Demon Grimwolf, um, who else? Uh, Blaze started, stopped playing, uh, slowly. And we had to get a new leadership going as fast as we can, and eventually, slowly, but surely, we got some leadership, and Ice became in charge, and she had a th really different mindset than Soda Pop did. And it okay. started falling apart, yeah. So the corp just couldn't survive without Soda, is what you're saying? Yeah, so, yeah, okay, so oh. there's two things I want to talk about from, I, I, th I think you covered it sufficiently, I, they talked about it a bit while you were uh, reconnecting. Um, while we're on the top, what do you guys think about the Rampage and Black Ice thing? Like, what do you, what do you think is going on there, guys? <laughs> there's a little, uh, what do you guys think? Hmm, you might have to ask this question to them too, but well, they probably <laughs> deny well, it. Well, like most things that happened before my time, I have pretty well no opinion on it. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know much about it. Do so. you think they have like some weird internet relationship? Like I don't, I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe I can uh, get apparently on there one she, time. she's with someone from the Dust community at the moment in real life. Uh, that Besides that's what I heard. Rampage. It might be rumors. It's on besides Rampage, or are you what? saying it might be Rampage? What are you saying? No, besides Rampage, it might be someone else. Oh, but she's no apparently, I, it might be rumors, but she's with someone currently that plays us, actually. Okay. All right. Uh, let's let's talk about Soda Pop for a minute. It, he's he's a director in your corp, I believe. Yeah. Not only that, he's a yeah, he's, he's an enormous forum troll. What do you guys What do you guys have to say about Soda Pop over there? Obviously not here. I'll say he's really entertaining. <laughs> That's like, what the war room is all about, right? Mm -hmm. People always yeah. want to see entertaining stuff in there, and he's just one of the players that likes to provide. Yeah, like a lot of how times many there isn't much will... behind um, there isn't much yeah, behind like the trolling. That. Sometimes there is, so you gotta read between the lines a little bit. But all in all, he just likes to have fun. Huh. Yeah, like many people would say, the like a lot of the players on there, he's just there to fill his bucket of tears. <laughs> yeah, like pe many people would say, is that most of this game is about the farms now. I personally hardly go on the farms, but when I do, I go in for go cool business. I don't read troll. <laughs> we seem to have lost Cardia. You might. I don't know. He's not in the chat anymore. Well, um, let's give some information. Right now, he's um. I don't know if you know him, but he's um, personally uh, having some family issues and he's not at his home. He's at a hotel, so. Yeah, okay, something might have come up. That's that's fine. Um, yeah, cut this connection. He's gotta do what he's gotta do. Um, does Soda Pop really like anime as much as. As much as we've been led to believe at this point. If, yeah, uh, more, talk to more, 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 okay, no way. way. Yeah, you don't, you don't understand. I just, oh god, I don't want to understand. I just wake up in the corp and I hear some weird Japanese voices in the background and I just know Soda Pop's online. Oh god. <laughs> if you talk to Soda Pop with Bell Anime, it'll be a long conversation if mm -hmm. you want change the subject, just talk about anime. Uh, early Naruto is going to be the extent of what I know about anime. Uh, used to watch that a lot. Any, anyways, um, so going back a bit here, you got your, your guys, uh, where you are in PC. Okay. Is that cardio? MLG player. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, there it is. What's going on here? Someone jumped in. The Phoenix Foundation? Did you guys invite somebody? Because I didn't invite anybody. He's the Phoenix I Bear Poncho, him. what are you doing? Oh, there he goes. Oh, so. Alright. Down now. So, I don't know. Shout out to that guy. He's in the video now. Uh, oh, okay. So what I, what I was saying, you're you're got uh, your current state PC. You're one of the bigger teams. Who would you say is your biggest op? Like, let's let's pretend you guys are like the good guy. Like, you are the good guys. For sure, like you might be the good guys. I don't know. But uh, let's say for sure you're the good guys. Who are the bad guys? Hmm. Curly. I can't really. Say I think Nyan Khan is probably one of the bad guys just for the sake of. And I mean, holding a lot of land and not being willing to to really defend it or or give it up. Um, I know the argument is always made that uh, you know they came to our timers and they took it, but um, yeah, I mean they they don't have a team anymore. Like a lot of corps that have died out before them, you know, they they just gave up most of the land. Mm -hmm. um, they might have once done, you know what I mean, earned it um, justly, but now they're just holding on to it without any reason to have it, and, and really are taking advantage of those timers. Yeah, it's definitely quite uh, I know cool. ourselves, we go after them every here and there, we take a district every here and there, and pass it out to somebody. But uh, other than that, I, I think they just don't really get attacked. Okay, so we got Death Lives in here now, apparently. Yeah, you want to say anything, Mr. Death Lives? How did he get in here? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not inviting people. <laughs> I mean, this, people can just join the channel, but it's not like I'm live streaming this or anything. It I'm sounds like you did an announcement, and people are like jumping in one by one. <laughs> yeah, I might have to move channels here pretty soon. Um, should have made this from an Eve character, but I don't have an Eve character, so that's probably gonna do it. Uh, any final shout-outs you guys want to give? Any final things you want to say? Uh, nah, not really. No, right. no, no. I'm just uh, glad to be a part of what you're doing. I think it's a cool idea. To give the perspective of all the corps. So yeah, definitely. Uh, be glad to I keep watching all the other ones too, and hear possibly some voices that I've never heard before. I know. Uh, yeah, I never, never talked to you guys before. I never talked to Q Sound or Dust either. I talked to Jade and Roman before, but uh, that's it. I, it's cool. I get to meet some new people, and hopefully, I can have you guys back at some point. I'll do some bigger group interviews people from different corps and that should be a good time get some trolling going there something so uh, I think that's gonna be it this was my third interview in my interview series Titan Phoenix